Ministerium of Tourism and uh, the Greek Lingua Agent of Global Voices. And I'm here at the uh, ERT3 headquarters in Saloniki, where for the past three days, uh, a vigil and protest uh, in solidarity of ERT has been uh, taking place uh, with people and journalists from uh, all over Saloniki, as it is in Athens, uh, the, at the uh, headquarters of ERT, which was closed uh, three days ago by a decree of uh, Greek government. I have with me two of the finest uh, citizen journalists for the journalists and journalists of Saloniki. Uh, this is Craig Gerlot, also known as and this is Antonis Gazakis of Gazakas, and they can tell you uh, what's going on in the Saloniki and Greece uh, with respect to austerity and the closure of the ERT. Well, like you said, on Monday, the Greek government uh, decided that they were going to close the ERT, state-run broadcast, the equivalent of BBC. Suddenly, just in the morning, it was announced, and by 11 o'clock, the riot police had been sent in they closed down the signal. However, in reaction to this, the employees, the technicians, the journalists here in Ligian, down in Athens and in other places, decide to occupy the facilities. So this is a kind of reaction. What you see here is a, a protest march, not just simply against this closure, but the closures in the public sector in general, not just simply uh, state run broadcasters, but hospitals, schools, many other services. I think this is like kind of like the uh, tipping point in many respects. There's a general strike right yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it's not just against this. I think this is just uh, the latest in a long line of such closures. And this is kind of real work, real work for people. You know, it was quite far before this was out, wasn't it? And Andonis is a, is a teacher, <laughs> is also protesting against uh, the, the, the draft of teachers. Um, teachers aren't, aren't allowed to protest today because they might be fired. Uh, do you want to say something about that? We are not allowed to, to go on strike. Uh, there is this conscription since uh, the national level exams uh, for the university entrance. And, uh, this uh, conscription hasn't yet uh, be, been stopped, uh, ceased. So today we are faced, the ones, the teachers that we are on strike, we face uh, the possibility of uh, uh, getting fired. Basically, you're in the army, aren't you? Yes, yeah. more or less. Like uh, being, uh, I'm a public servant. He's supposed to work uh, as an uh, army officer. Been following the, the protests uh, ever since uh, the indignant protests. In yes, even before, since 2010, before the indignant movement, when the, the first big protest against austerity measure started. Uh, what we see now is that the, the government has decided to strike against the public uh, sector with. Uh, a fiercer way because until now there were cuts but nobody was fired so they decided to start with uh, ERT and the, the policy of them is that ERT is a very scandalous organization uh, with uh, corruption and they bet on people public opinion saying that uh, this is uh, something good but and basically, you're saying yes. that for every, for every public organization. Yes, they, they strike first at the, the public organizations that are more or less uh, very disgraced in the eyes of uh, the public. So, what do you think we'll call them? Hospitals? Schools? <laughs> yes, but there are hospitals that uh, are ready to be closed in the same way in Sparta and 16 other cities all over Greece. Uh, and this way, if a minister believes that an organization, public organization should be uh, closed, he issues this uh, decree and the, the next day the organization will be closed. We also have to point out that it's been an unprecedented amount of solidarity, uh, both at the official level from uh, organizations like the, the BBU, the IFJ, the EFJ, the, the, uh, and various organizations for press freedom, uh, protesting against the unprecedented closure of the national telecommunication organization in Greece with a, a ministerial decree. And uh, you think this is uh, one point of uh, uh, one point of uh, uh, attrition that uh, the world has uh, their eyes on. So this is a terrorist uh, for global voices, and uh, the world is watching.